given us today. Let us pray for her. For her. At this point, I would like to welcome all of us. Our dear sisters as well as our dear brothers who are with us. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit will open our hearts and our minds for the message from our speaker who will still be encouraging us some more. She will be inspiring us that we may be moving forward. As we go forward, then our God will be with us. And then we will be going, glowing for God. Our speaker, we would like also to welcome our speaker. She is no other than our associate, Women's Ministries Director from the General Conference, Sister Nilby Neil Eden Moose. But before she, we will be giving her the time, let us welcome in our midst our women from Pabite, mission for the musical opera. Hey, and you are glowing and ready to go and share it, right? Yes. And we're so thankful for that uplifting music to our wonderful group. They have a skill, they have a gift. Yes. So do you. Yes. Each one of us has a unique gift, a unique, unique experience, a unique background, a uniqueness that we need to share with the world. We have something else, which is the truth. We have, we can have more and more something to share with others. Good news. And we want to go now and glow. Yes. And we want to grow, continue growing. As we go, remember, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Together? Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Can you imagine living in a place of total darkness? I have a friend who is blind, and she has taught me so much. I treasure her as a good friend, a pastor's wife, and she lives in the darkness. But do you know how she glows? She has a ministry, she has an enterprise, she is glowing in different ways. But living in the world in the world of darkness is not the ideal. God has something better. And as I was thinking of what to share, I was thinking and turning on the light on my light night stand and the idea came and my sisters have heard this how a simple light bulb can help us remember how a simple light bulb can help us remember that we have something to share that we can be that light that candle as they just sang that is needed in the world today when uh, sister white came back from the vision that she had, she said, this world is so dark. There's something better. There's something brighter up there in heaven that we are looking forward and hope to see because Jesus is the light of this world and the light of life. And we can be also a light by His grace and power. I'm so thankful for that light bulb. Tiny, like you have right now. In, in your, I think in your bag. A tiny, tiny little light. When you go down into a cave, I know there's several caves in the Philippines, and you go in there, oh my, it's dark. <laughs> if you don't have a light. I went once into a cave, and they, the guy turned off the, the light they had, the flashlight, I think it was, for us to experience total darkness. Nothing. You couldn't see anything. Not a, a hand right here. It was. But then he turned off a little bit of light. And suddenly we could see everything. Just with a tiny candle. With a tiny light we were able to see. Because light has a purpose. 
God created men and women in his own image. In the image of God, he created us. Male and female, he created them. We have a purpose. We are to shine, to glow. Like Sister Virgie, glow. We have a purpose, just as that light bulb that is up here has a, a purpose. Can that light bulb, if I hold it in my hand, do anything? Can it light? If, it, if I hold it in my hand, a light bulb, imagine I'm holding a light bulb. Does it give light? No. No? Nothing. Nothing. It's there. It has a possibility. Yes. We could be able to see light from it, but if I just hold it in my hand, it's not doing anything. It just has possibilities. But thank God that he sees the possibilities we have. With men, it's impossible for us to shine. But with God, all things are possible. possible. Again, with God, all things are possible. Even lighting a light bulb. And of course, a dirty light bulb will not give too much light. It still has potential, but Imagine how much more light it can give if it's clean, if it's shiny. So the same with us. God asks, calls us, come now. Let us reason together, says the Lord. So your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they may be red like crimson, they shall be as white. We have that privilege that God can cleanse anything that is dirty in us, that doesn't let us shine. Maybe it's a fear, maybe it's pride, maybe it's something else. You know what it is. God knows what it is, and he's ready to cleanse us and to give us peace. We rely in everything for everything in Christ. That's why we need to be connected with Him. That light bulb, once it's connected and plugged into the electricity, it's bright, it shines bright. It's ready to fulfill its purpose. It's giving that light that dissipates the darkness. But it needs to be connected to the source of power. So we also need to be connected to the source of power, to the source of strength, to the source that will allow us to glow. If we remain in Him and He in us, he will bear, we will bear much fruit. Apart from me, but remember, we need to remain connected. And this is a daily, daily commitment, a daily surrender. So he can work through us, so we can remain connected to that source and then shine. Like these bulbs right now are shining, connected to the source. So go and glow. Go and share the love that God is putting each day into your heart. Go and light the world as we just heard in that beautiful song. Go and do a kind deed. Go and share the evangelistic program that you are just being trained to do. You can do it because you know who is with you. You know which source of energy you are plugged into. You know who goes with you, who is with you all the time. And go and glow. So don't just stay there, you know, share. Share inspiration. Share with others what God has done for you. Share what you have learned today. I know you are leaders. You are equipped to go and share with others what you have just learned here today, what you have been inspired through the power of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with that power. Every day request for that power. Every day remember you are glowing because you are filled with the power of God, with the Holy Spirit. 
and that makes you go. Just as like Moses came down from the mountaintop, we are probably coming down from the mountaintop tomorrow, going to our activities or tonight, and you will have that goal of being in the presence of the Lord, because we are in the presence of God. And people will ask, you know, what's different about you? Why do you treat people like this? The more we are connected with Christ, the more we will be like Him. The more we take time and spend time to learn, to realize what God is doing in us, the more we will praise and we will be able to recognize His work in us. So go and glow. And be that shining light that the world needs. Because you have something to share. You have been equipped to do that. Go, glow, and light your world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, up, high, so everyone can receive light. If it gives light to everyone in the house, that's where you start, in your circle of influence. You are all influencers. You know that mother term. Keep